growing up, I thought that I would be married、uh, with a family、um, at the age of 30. I met my husband at the age of 32. Four years into our marriage, we felt the need to see、uh, doctors for additional testing. We got tested, and the doctor diagnosed me with unexplained infertility.、Uh, because of, of my age, I was in my mid 30s. The doctor told me that my best chance of having a child will be to go through fertility treatments. We talked about it. I did not feel that I needed to do it at that very moment. I told my husband that we would wait until I turned 40, and if we didn't have a child by then, I would go through the treatment. Um, so during the waiting period,、um, we did a lot of things in faith,、uh, things that we felt that the Holy Spirit was leading us to do. So we bought a house,、uh, we designated one of the rooms as the baby room. We actually started to refer to it as the baby room. I bought a bigger car. I bought two outfits that I would bring the baby home in, <laughs> and we just waited.、Um, there was a lot of tears in the waiting, but. We were able to find、um, joy in it.、Um, so, the month after our seven-year anniversary, Valentine's Day 2019, I took a pregnancy test just like I had done several times before, and it was positive. I called my doctor. He was very surprised because he did not think that I would be able to get pregnant without going through the treatments that he had recommended. He sent me for additional testing for blood work, and the pregnancy was real. I went through a successful pregnancy, and three weeks before my 40th birthday, I gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. We named her Mackenzie, which was the name that was revealed in the dream, and、um, her middle name is Hope, because it was the one thing that we held on to through the journey. So, if anyone is、um, watching this and is waiting for God to fulfill a promise or just standing on the word of God, I want to encourage you to wait on the Lord. He truly, truly is a promise keeper. He truly does do what He says He will do. And during the waiting period, find joy in the waiting. And if the Holy Spirit prompts you to do something, whether it makes sense to you or others, just Do it. It's all gonna make sense at the end. And here is Mackenzie Hope, living her best toddler life. <laughs> <laughs>